Benny, one thing you don't talk about is being the son of a coal miner. What's that like? Well, I'll tell you something, man. My dad was a... I used to be a mama's boy. Uh -huh. My dad would get home about 1.30 in the afternoon from the coal mines. And kids used to pick on me because I was a mama's boy, you know. And the last thing I remember was my dad yelling out the window. He says, now either you go out there and lick them up, or I'm going to lick you when you get in the house. <laughs> and, I, I mean, I didn't want him. <laughs> so I went, and that was my first fight. Uh -huh. From that time, no kids ever picked on me. When I found out I could defend myself. Yeah, well, you've mentioned that many times, that you would defend but, yourself. But my mother, my mother was, like, she was very protective of me all the time, you know. And like I say, I was a mama's boy. But so there was no mention of you ever being a coal miner or... No. You know, I remember your dad took us on a tour of the coal mines. Oh, did he? Yeah, I can picture that. I can't really remember. Oh, when, when, when he was a boss? Could be he was a boss. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. he used to, oh, he took me down when I was seven years old. I was scared to, you know, and I, and I went into these things, and I mean, I started crying right away. Yeah, yeah. And so oh, he, in disgust, he just <laughs> took me out, you know. I'm a crybaby. He must have been like a foreman or something, because he was showing us the different... Yeah, he was stuff. a foreman, and then then uh, in 1929, 1930, uh, things got rough, you know, and so he lost his job, and so he, he became a miner again. Oh, I see. And then he, he worked his way back up again, huh. you know. But uh, he used to take me down the mines all the time. Now, I was never crazy with that. I mean, when I was older, you know, I mean, I used to like to go in. Although it was scary. You know, you'd hear creaks and different sounds. My, uh, my father was under a fall of rock one day. I mean, they brought him home in the Black, they called it, we called it the Black Mariah then. I remember as a kid, I think I must have been in sixth grade. And this black Mariah come down the street and stopped in front of the house. And my dad had been in, under a, 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 a fall of rock in the, in the coal mine. Like it was like an ambulance or something? Yeah, yeah, but they, they looked like black Mariahs, you know. Oh, okay. And they were taking them to the hospital. Yeah, he spent a couple of weeks in the hospital. But he went right back to the... But he worked his way out then as he was going. He became a boss and, you know... Wait, he'd been in the mine since he was 12 years old. 12? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, he was in the, he was in the coal mines when he met my mother. Wow. Up in, up in this little coal mining town called Forest City, you know, where we came from. And all his brothers, all his brothers were coal miners. And his father. That's what was my question. If they expected eventually you'd be a coal miner too. No, no, they that's wanted a, you out. That's the, he's the, he's the one. He's the guy that got me to Northwestern. Yeah. Okay. I didn't do it. I mean, he, he picked the school even. Really? Yeah. Wow. And and for for a, an uneducated man, he had an eighth grade education. Yeah. And and when he when he was when he was eighteen years old, he went to this. Junior school, a place called Wyoming Seminary. He, he wasn't going to become a minister, but that, they went there to become ministers, you know. But he he went there and he and he got his. That's where he got his eighth grade education. But he never went to high school or any of that, you know. 